Hi everyone, welcome back to Rocket League Trading Prices. Today, we are going to be taking a look at the market and I will be giving you my prediction on if items will be increasing or decreasing in the coming days. But first, please consider subscribing and leaving a like on the video. It doesn't take long and you can always unsubscribe later. And to offer some persuasion, I'm giving away a white fennec yorban at 4,000 subscribers. And if you do want to support the channel, use creator code RLT prices in the item shop. Thank you. Before we get into the video, we'd like to thank our sponsor on the channel, AOA. Are you tired of buying overpriced items and credits from the in-game shop that you can't even trade afterwards? Well, with a secure checkout and a fast delivery of any purchases, AOA is the website for you. They offer discounted prices on a wide range of Rocket League items and credits, and you can get a further 6% off using our discount code RLTRADING. So make sure to check out AOA from the link in the description. So I think as long as we don't get any crazy item shops or bundles in the next few days, the market should be looking pretty good. We may see some of the more popular items rise slightly, and there shouldn't be many decreases. So this could be a good time for some short term investments that you can hold for no more than a week before you sell them on. We will go through some of the items that we could see rise very shortly, but I do need to give a shout out to Marco since he helps me out a lot with these videos. I will leave a link to his YouTube channel and TikTok in the description so you should all check him out. He uploads some of his big trades and you can see how much profit he makes because it's often pretty insane. But anyway, the market is nice and stable and all these next items I mentioned have some potential to rise. But if they don't, they are unlikely to drop in price dramatically unless we see a big update or item shop announcement. So the first one is the White Zombies. They're a very popular wheel and one that a lot of you can afford. Due to what happened to them with the item shop and credit demand, they are unlikely to rise a load, but we may see some little increases here and there and they are still a great item for flipping, which means buying them for under minimum price and selling them for more. Next, of course, we have the White Octane, but also the Crimson one should be good for a little while too. It was announced that the White Octane will be coming to the item shop at the start of next year. However, that's a while off now so all we have to worry about for now is credit demand and maybe the creator bundles if we see another one of those. Speaking about painted octanes, we are giving away a sky blue octane on our discord server which you can join from the link in the description. This guy provided us with the octane and I like to call him Mr Fishhook because his name looks like fishhooks. So everyone say thank you to Mr Fishhook in the comment section. And he also wanted to tell you all this. There are two more cards which are looking good on the market, which are the White Fennec and the White Dominus. The White Dominus managed to recover after being in the shop, which is great to see, and both these items' prices look nice and stable. I don't think we will see many decreases from either of these items for a little while, which makes them great items for buying and selling, and there's also a good chance they will rise slightly whilst you have them in your inventory. The White Fennec is one that a lot of you will be able to trade with, since it's a lot cheaper now than it was earlier this year. The White Dominus is a little more expensive, so if you do want to trade with that item, just make sure you're paying a decent amount under minimum. One problem I've come across recently is that some of the most popular items are becoming difficult to sell for mid-price. Sometimes they will sell, but a lot of the time I find myself lowering the price I'm selling my items for very slightly to increase the amount of offers I'm getting. And also, make sure to accept item offers. Whilst the demand for pure credits is high, lots of people are often willing to give a lot more value in items, so just look out for those. We are getting so close to the 4,000 subscribers, and just remember that we are giving away the White Fennec Yorbans when we hit that goal. We will also be announcing one more thing once we get there, and then, if we reach 5,000 subscribers, we have some bigger announcements coming with even more giveaways. So make sure you do join our Discord server, that is where most of our giveaways will be held. Thank you for watching. If you found the video helpful, you should listen to these guys.